Hey everyone, my name is Chirag Joshi and I welcome you all to the episode 1 of the EQ show. So what is the EQ show? Well, it's a segment where we try to bring together sustainability and creativity. Uh, and why do we do that? Because our aim is to build a culture around sustainability and all of that stuff, right? So yeah, I don't want to speak too much right in the start. I'll uh, let all of you discover what the show is and we'll get directly into the show. So the show is basically simple. There's my friend Pradhina sitting right behind the camera. Uh, hopefully I can show it, show her to you eventually. Uh, and uh, she's going to be picking out uh, a lot of the posts that we put out on our Instagram. And I'm going to sort of take you through why we represented those posts in those ways. And then we'll get into the meat of the topic. And yeah, then we can have fun that way, right? Uh, also, there's a sub segment of this whole EQ show, which is uh, the interactive portion where you can ask me questions. We're going to pick out questions uh, from Instagram. Today, Pradhan is going to ask some questions because even she's new to this whole thing. So let's just dive in. Uh, so yeah, to sum it up, this is a show that's going to be uh, interactive, informative and creative. Yep. Okay, oh, Pradhan, let's get into the show. Ha. Huh. Okay, good post. Good choice. Uh, so, okay, as you can see in this post, it's uh, sort of a quote post, but not exactly. It's a lot of techno behind it. It's because it's about data uh, and we've sort of uh, made it in a funny way. Okay, so it says the future of mobility will be driven by data more than anything else. And it's quoted by data itself. <laughs> right? So it's, it's kind of a funny post that we put out. Uh, not exactly, but if you really get it, you get it. Uh, because uh, data shows that the future of mobility will be driven by data. So what does data exactly mean? Uh, by data, we mean the software element that is going to play an increasingly important role in the world of, uh, you know, transportation and mobility. And, uh, and, and that's already happening with Ola and Uber because, you know, we already have location sort of sharing with, the, with our loved ones when we're traveling late at night or uh, you know uh, booking uh, even booking our ola cabs or uber cabs is dependent on the software element which is data so wherever we travel and however we travel uh, th all of that data is sort of uh, there with these mobility companies and this is going to be now this is just in a cab aggregator scenario but once we talk the future of mobility which is electric vehicles and even private transportation right now it's super unconnected right there is no tabs on who's going where on his own hero on or on in, in his own car right there's no sort of uh, data on that but as we move forward and as we sort of move into the direction of more connected transportation uh, with 5g coming into the picture and all of that uh, there's going to be if there's a single company that sort of you know uh, is running a shared mobility scenario then it obviously has the data of a lot of people traveling in the city and what it could potentially do with that data uh, and that information is that say uh, you know a lot of people are sort of heading into one direction and there's a jam there uh, and it can literally sort of divert the other side of people who are coming towards the same direction and move them into uh, uh, into a road that isn't as jammed and so that they can reach the destination faster so it's gonna make our intercity transportation way more efficient and way more uh, uh, you know sort of time saving than it is right now because right now a it's super unconnected b it's super polluting so we just spend i don't know how many hours in traffic and uh, there's a lot of time where we're like oh i should have taken that turn right or we forget to take a particular turn or we just don't know which turn to take right google maps sort of screws with us a lot of ways so uh, uh, i think that is going to be that's the reason we put out this post and that's what we meant by data as such yeah clear on that What's the next one? Okay, so awesome. So this is the first post that I put out with my friend Puranjay who puts out a lot of the creative posts that you see on Instagram. This particular one is his first one. Uh, and if, as you can see, we've sort of uh, represented a hybrid uh, fuel station with on the one side, there's petrol represented in, I don't know, deep red or maroon or brown i don't know what that is and on the other side it's uh, an electric charging station uh, it's obviously in green in color uh, uh, so what we try to highlight with this was uh, you know before while at the time when we were putting out this post uh, there was 
a lot of talk around a lot of news articles floating around that had a lot of these uh, oil and gas companies telling that they're going to be placing charging stations in their own petrol pump premises and we found this to be a super uh, you know smart way of going about things because these huge oil and gas companies they have immense amount of resources and money and they have their petrol pumps in places so them putting out charging stations of according to me and what i think makes a hell of a lot more sense than anyone who's trying to build a charging station on his own uh, it's because of two factors a they have the space right uh, they have the these petrol pumps are huge in space and putting up one or two charging stations won't do any harm to them right and b is that these petrol pumps are present almost everywhere we go around we hardly see a place that doesn't have a petrol pump so the availability question of charging stations is solved there and the third benefit of it is that uh, you know uh, the resources and the money and the capital required to set up a charging station is fairly massive and what you get in terms of revenue is very less that's why it's sort of a dicey situation to put up a charging station these days but if it's an oil and gas company who's trying to put it up makes complete sense so that's the thing that we wanted to represent with this post hopefully we did a good job at it I mean, we're not great uh, uh, artists as such. I'm nowhere close to being an artist. Pradhanya is one. Uh, she's pretty cool artist. She, her mind works only in those ways. That's the reason she's part of the show. Uh, but yeah, hopefully now she's part of us. We can do something better with our artistic <laughs> abilities. Yep. Cool. Let's so get into some questions. Yeah. Uh, so, when not many people give uh, care about the entire mobility solution what is the thing that's driving you like? awesome uh, so uh, for me the mobility industry represents uh, is going through the biggest revolution ever in its history that uh, that I think is going to impact every single or, or, or it's going to have a profound impact on the way we do business the way we move in our cities the way we live because Mobility or transportation is a very personal thing to people, right? Uh, it's the it's the very fabric of human activities. If that comes to a standstill, a lot of things come to a standstill. That's the reason when we have transportation strikes, uh, the government suffers huge losses. So uh, according to me, uh, that and this whole change that we're going through represents the biggest in the world. And it's super exciting to be part of it in the early days and hopefully have an impact on it in a way that could allow people to sort of travel in a way that you designed. So yeah, that sort of motivates me. I find it immensely exciting and enthusiastic about it. So yeah, that's what drives me. Cool, so one more. Uh, do you just believe in sustainable mobility, sustainable energy or other practices such as sustainable fashion for that matter? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, I think it's not just about, I of course, I mean, I'm a big believer in sustainability as a whole, not from the angle of saving the planet and all of that. Of course, that's understood. But the biggest thing and the biggest uh, sort of uh, uh, driving force is that the world today or the major economy uh, is made up of just half of the world's population. The other half is standing at the threshold of entering this economy. And of course, we'll want them to enter the economy, right? Like that's the aim. Most people work towards having more and more people uh, live better in their lives, right? So once that happens and that's that's and that transition of more and more people joining the mainstream economy is happening faster and faster because of the opportunities this digital age is bringing us, right? Uh, now, that's a good thing. But the bad thing or the sort of uh, question there is and the problem there is that with all of these people being part of it, we cannot live uh, in the way we've been living. You know, I have uh, we're living in ways that have, and, and we have zero track of the energy that we use, of the resources that we use. We waste so much in terms of, uh, you know, food or water or whatever, right? All of these basic things. And and we're just half of the population. Imagine the other half that's deprived of all of this, all of this will now be entitled to it. And if it has to be entitled to it, it, it has to be there in the first place, right? If there is no way. So I think the whole way in which we are structured right now is sort of unsustainable and there is a need to figure out more efficient ways of uh, ev of, of people living their lives, right? So of course, uh, I'm, and that comes down to everything, clothing, fashion, uh, the way we eat, 
the way we dispose our waste, everything, water, etc. I've just chosen the thing that I'm super excited about and that I think will kick start this whole sort of sustainable culture in the world, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, and I think that's going to be the major industry that's going to do that. Plus, I'm super passionate about it. So I'm going to start there and hopefully that should trickle down in ways uh, into other sort of facets of life, including fashion and whatnot. Yep, that's the whole thing. Uh, that's the show, guys. I hope you like this format. It's super quick, super random and super uh, uh, hopefully engaging uh, to, to all of you. Uh, this is the first episode and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Uh, this is for anyone who does not care about sustainability, but cares about some fun and engaging content. And we're trying to put it out. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. See you. Bye-bye.